Verse 10 says that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times that he might gather together in one all things in Christ. Somebody shout, that's me. That in the dispensation of time, what does the word dispensation mean? That word dispensation, write this word right there next to it. Stewardship. Stewardship. Make more space and write this word down. Religious economy. Religious economy. So in the dispensation of the fullness of time, the stewardship, in the dispensation of the fullness of time, in the stewardship of the fullness of time, in other words, in the management of the fullness of time, in the dispensation of the fullness of time, in other words, the religious economy of the fullness of time, the religious Christian economy has something to accomplish in the fullness of time. In the fullness of time, we will see the hand of God move and there will be a shifting like an overnight season. Somebody needs to grab their overnight season. There is a season that will suddenly happen in the lives of your children and in the lives of your business and in the timeline of everything that you have set and presented before God. Because whatever you present before God does not have the authority or the right to die and not be resurrected. But when you give it to God, you say, God, I'm releasing it into your life. I'm releasing into your hand the lives of my children. I'm releasing into the, the life of my children into the life of God. I'm releasing the lives of my children into the life of Jesus Christ. And you know what the word says? That Jesus Christ did not stay on the cross of Calvary. Oh, uh, you don't believe that. I said, Jesus Christ did not stay on the cross of Calvary. He rose on the third day in case you didn't know. He rose on the third day in case you didn't know. Hallelujah. I've got everything to shout about. I've got everything to, to give him some praise about. I'm celebrating this year as the best year of my life. Somebody shout glory. I'm celebrating this year. It's not over until I say it's over. I said I'm celebrating this year as the best year of my life. I don't care what it seemed like thus far. But I'm taking my thus far even further than the thus far. Because my thus far can become his timeline, his religious economy, his stewardship in the dispensation of the fullness of time. That means I'm not going to die prematurely, but I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Is somebody with me this morning? I said, I'm going to live. I shall live and not die to decree the works of the Lord. I shall rise up and not die to decree a decree according to the word. Because according to the word, I'm coming out stronger. I'm coming out bigger than I ever was before. I'm coming out more knowledgeable. I'm coming out with greater sensitivity to the Holy Ghost. I'm coming out with greater understanding of the Holy Word. This is my time. 2020 does not have a right to dictate to me how my life is going to turn out. The coronavirus does not have a right to dictate to me how my life is going to turn out. The Democrats don't have a right. No, oh, come on. The Freedom Party don't have a right. No political party has a right to tell me how 2020 is going to turn out. I can tell you what I'm, I know how it's going to turn out. It's going to turn out as the greatest year of the church. The greatest year for the kingdom. The greatest year for the born again believer. The greatest year for every daughter of Jesus Christ. The, the greatest year for every son of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody needs to agree with me. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost knows that when they come into one, that any child that comes into one with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, according to His Holy Word, they will have what they say. Somebody needs to shout, 2020 is my year. I know more than I've ever known before because I dissected the word with precision. What did we say in the beginning of 2020? That 2020 is my here to do what? To dissect the word with precision. According to these verses, I have been redeemed, delivered, liberated. Ephesians 1 7, I have been redeemed, delivered. Oh, I need some believers in the house. I said, I have been redeemed. I have been delivered. I have been liberated. 
There's the blood all over me. I'm smeared by the blood. Not of animals, but of Jesus Christ. I am smeared from head to toe with the blood of Jesus Christ. I have forgiveness of sins. I am walking in total righteousness because I have the blood of Jesus all over me. Somebody shout hallelujah.